What? Chris! My dad's dead? Chris. What, you knew about this? Chris, I, I was just trying to help. Protect me, Mom. That's what this is, right? To protect me? Has it ever occurred to you that everything you do to try to protect me is just crap? Chris. Chris, it's no, not No, just shut up, both of you. Chris! Wait! Please, wait! Please! Look! <laughs> hey, I gotta talk to these guys real quick, so I'll pick you up at eight. And wear that red dress. But I wanna wear the blue one. Nah, that one makes you look fat. You know I can't be seen at the party with a fat girl. You're so hot. Alright, so what'd you guys make me skip class to tell me about? Nothing special. I just felt like skipping class. What? I'm missing Sawyer's class. And he's doing a pop quiz today and finals are next week. Calm now, new blood. I wanted to talk to you about the final ritual. What? I, I thought I was already in. You are. We just have something else we need you to do. <laughs> what is it? Come by the gym later. We'll tell you then. Why can't you just tell me now? Because we'll tell you then. I heard you guys had so much fun at the studio sneak-in, even though I wasn't invited. How was I supposed to know it was your birthday? Why did you tell Miss Kyle what I said about her? I don't know what you're talking about. Bullshit! I didn't tell her anything. You gave her that video of me calling her an old hag. Why would you do that? Do you have any proof? Are you being serious right now? Hey, is everything okay? She showed Miss Kyle a video of me making fun of her, and now I'm dropped out of the showcase and her class. What? You were just upset that you didn't get the lead and the showcase. But you said that was fine. And now you go around and do this? Face it, Ariana. You didn't have the chops to be the lead. Miss Kai was dumb to choose you over the other dancers who deserved it more. Who would that be? Yourself? You built this whole facade of us being girls when all you wanted was a stupid lead. And I got it. It was only a matter of time before a real dancer was chosen for the lead. <laughs> Let's go, ladies. I have to prepare for rehearsals with Miss Kai. <laughs> I knew that my son would It's okay. It's okay. Joe! You here? I got great news! I got the job! Keisha, hey. You home early? How did the meeting with Romero go? What's the long face for? How did you know I had a meeting with Romero today? Uh, you told me, didn't you? I know. About you and Romero? Keisha, I can explain. You know, when I auditioned for the showcase, Romero was there. He rejected me. And when I got that call from Valley Records saying that they wanted me, for once I thought I was talented enough. But it turns out I just have a mother who can't keep her legs closed. Keisha, just listen. Listen to me. Romero and I are just really good friends. We met a while back. Decided to catch up and things just came up. <laughs> That's a lie. You said the same crap with, with Sean and, and Terrence and that crackhead Marcus. Every man you slept with because you wanted something from them. Okay. 
Okay. I slept with Romero, but only because I, I knew it would get you to deal. You did not want me back into your life. I had to do something to try to, to, to help. You call this helping? Keisha, I was not trying to hurt you. Well, congratulations. I'm hurt. Do you realize how insulting it is to find out I had absolutely nothing to do with my music deal? I'm so sorry. And, and here I was thinking you changed, cleaned up, became better. Why was I stupid enough to think you'd ever be better? I was just trying to help. Help? You help by supporting me. You help by being there. You help by being a mother. Not by sleeping around like some little whore. You would not talk to me like that. I am still your mother. Get out. I tried to do the best that I could for you. Get out! Wow, this is it? Yep, the nuts and bolts of it. By this time next year, we'll be having the opening celebration for our newest Sutherland office building in Alhambra. This is awesome. And on top of that, the operations at this facility will bring in more business and revenue than this company has ever seen. Your pop sure knows how to run a business. That's what he does. You and your brother have some serious shoes to fill one of these days. We're ready. We both look forward to working with each other and, and keeping our father's legacy alive when the time comes. Oh, speak of the devil. Ronald! Ronald! Hey, what is going on here? Well? You gonna tell him or should I? Tell me what? You two are brothers, what are you doing fighting? Half brothers. Leave us? What is going on? It's nothing. It doesn't seem like nothing. Does this have to do with the expansion? Because we discussed this- It has nothing to do with that. Good. Because our interview with Prime Television is in two hours. Now go get yourself done. I'm not gonna do that. And I'm telling you that you are. The last thing that you wanna do right now is disobey me, boy. Now go get yourself cleaned up. freshman orientation, you were wearing those shades and that funny hat. <laughs> yeah, not that day. It was true in last year. When I first started working here, I bumped into you and you dropped your stuff and your art book. I thought it was cool. You were nervous, so you hurried off. I totally forgot about that. I didn't. I would never forget. I know about Caleb. I don't care about his threats. I care about you. It's just not Caleb. How long are we gonna have to spend time in empty restaurants, in cabins in the woods? How long is it gonna be a secret? 
It's complicated. It's complicated because we allow it to be. Sometimes we have to learn not to care what people say and just focus on what makes us happy, truly happy. And I know you want to be what makes your father happy, but you should just do what makes you happy. Andres, I'm looking for you. We have that meeting. Let's go. I'll see you later. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take over. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, hey. Three, hey. Four. So, is this your dance crew? Yeah, that's us. We're not America's next top, you know, dance crew, but we're pretty legit. I like it. You guys look great. Thank you. You want to practice with us? I mean, oh, no, no, no. I, I, come on. No. I, I, I've seen you dance. <laughs> You'd be great with us, come on now. I'd love to, but I'm meeting up with my um, <clears throat> my boyfriend in a bit. Oh, okay. Um, well, I mean, you should still totally check us out. Sometime. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Okay. <laughs> All right, bye. See ya. Good. What's up, new blood? What's up, Todd? Didn't know you'd be here. Oh, you know I can't miss the final ritual. So what is this final ritual thing? Well, we ran into an issue with one of our pledges. What happened? Apparently, we have a narc on our hands. Narc? Who? Remember that party we threw back before the semester started? Well, Kyle went home that night drunk. I told his mom we had some liquor at the party. It turns out Kyle's mom is on the board of directors. Our fraternity ended up on probation, and all future events were canceled. Which is why we couldn't let Kyle here get away with breaking our number one rule. There's no narcs. Because narcs get marks. Please, I didn't mean to. Hey, shut up. The Dean of Students has promised to drop our probation if we do some community service. He offered us a volunteer at the local dog shelter. But we thought that was lame. Why work at a dog shelter when you can have your very own dog? What? What dog? Kyle here has volunteered to be our new pup. What? What? <laughs> Last time I checked, dogs don't talk. Yeah. Time for you to start barking, dog. I mean, unless you want to go to your mother again. <laughs> oh, well, never again, uh -huh. sorry. Then, bark. <laughs> <laughs> this is a <epic>. bark. <laughs> now, as part of your ritual, walk our new dog down the main walkway. I don't know, man. Nah, this isn't right. It's just one little walk, and then you'll really be in the frat. Unless you're scared, then we can just always find someone more suitable. Since when did you become such a pussy? One walk. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> woof, 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 woof. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably sad. Oh. Keep barking. <laughs> come on, come on, come for a walk. Come on, come on, you got it. Yeah, you're not barking, dog. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, 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 let's go, let's go. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Please, man, don't do this. Don't do this. You're one. not barking, dog. Come on, Tony. <laughs> bark, dog. Bark. Come on, Tony. You could be louder than that. <laughs> bark, dog. Bark. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come here. Come here, little yeah. Yeah. Oh, Bark. Man. <laughs> bark. <laughs> Bark. 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 My nuts! Shit. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm wait. Breathe, breathe. Oh, shit! Ariana, wait. At least, Tony, out of anyone else, you should know I don't tolerate bullies. I know you can't. 
Why don't you... How do you have that? I made it. And the one you're wearing. No. 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 I'm Roman. Roman Antonio Garcia. No. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner, but I just couldn't find the right time to. I can't believe this. And then you started telling me about how you felt about me as kids, and I just thought it was the right time. What happened to you? The Roman I knew would never hurt a soul. I wasn't gonna hurt him. The guys... The guys thought it would be cool for you to do it? Because that's what Tony Garcia cares about. His stupid ego. That's not true. Look, the Roman you knew was weak. And a nerd. It was time for him to grow up. Keisha was right about you. I can't believe I actually felt something for you. Ariana, please, just listen to me. All right, all I ever wanted was for you... Save it. I don't want to hear it. Ariana, please, just listen. So I'm here live with LA's most powerful family, the Sutherlands. Well, without the matriarch, of course. Well, we're here to talk about the new buildings in Air Hammer that you're breaking ground for. Please tell us about that. Well, with the expansion, we plan to create more jobs and more business to further the growth of our city. The mayor is getting a lot of heat lately for approving the expansion, since it will drive dozens of families out of their homes. How do you respond to the protests and the angry letters? Our main concern is bringing new jobs to the city and doing what we can to create new business opportunities. Well, that's always good to hear. And I see your sons are on board as well. How do you two feel about this great endeavor for your father's company? My dad has always placed welfare of, of job growth and development over anything. and. And I truly believe that this expansion will bring a lot more in regards to, uh, to, to better business, so. James? Yeah, um, I think, um, I think, I think the protesters are right. We shouldn't do the expansion. <laughs> James has been under a lot of stress lately with his classes at Stanford and everything. No, Dad, this, this expansion's wrong. I mean, dozens of families are gonna lose their homes, and like, there's been a family that's lived there for generations. It's... We should stop the expansion. We should fight this together, bring it to the city council, and they can block the mayor's proposal for this project. You seem very outspoken about this. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I learned from someone. They, uh, they, sh they said that I should do what makes me happy and not care what anyone thinks. Someone special? Yeah, my, um, my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? Yeah, he's, uh, he's an art student, uh, like me, uh, at Hill State University, where I attend. Hill State University? So you're not attending Stanford? No. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Um, I've always had a passion for art, and I never really wanted to do business. Well, aren't you full of secrets, James? So an art student from Hill State University. I'm liking the new you already. Well, it was, uh, it was always there. I just, you know, needed to be reminded of who I really was. That nothing else matters. Why should you care about what other people think, right? Well, you heard it here first. James Sutherland comes out to the world here on Prime TV. James, get back here! I'm sorry. Chris. Look, Mom, I just want to say... No. no, let me go first. I'm sorry. I should have told you about your father. You were, you were just, you were so young when he died. I didn't want you growing up knowing what happened to him. 
and the time went on and I just I just figure you were better off not knowing like I was just trying to protect you no what happened to him mom your father he was once a very happy man he loved his music it's but it's also the struggle, you know. He he worked so hard to try to book gigs and shows and just nothing ever came his way. Bill sat to rise and we were getting evicted from the home and he was getting so depressed. He was getting a lot of medication for it. All this joy and excitement that he always had. It's no longer there and I could see it in his eyes and then one day when you were two I just I just took a quick trip to the grocery store and I left you at home with him and when I came home he was just on the couch I thought he was just sleeping. <laughs> the, do the doctor said he overdosed. They said it was a possible suicide. I saw what that dream did to him and I just couldn't let that happen to you. You're never gonna you're never gonna lose me, Mom. I love you, son. I always will. I love you too. <sighs> and if you wanted to pursue film, I guess I'm not gonna stop you. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> What's that? A gift. From your father. Take a look. And that was Sarah Clark singing an original song, Mary Did You Know, in the style of Little Wayne. Very good. I see a lot of fun, diverse people in the crowd today. We're going to talk to some of them. Oh, Sir, what's your name? Thank you. And what's your major? Sounds smart. Sounds like you're going to make a lot of money. And marry a nice hey. Okay. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for coming to help me last minute. I didn't think I was going to be able to get ready. Oh, you know I got you, girl. Thanks. Well, you know, I didn't think you were going to be able to make it. You know, the whole Tony thing. You know, I'm not even going to worry about that right now. Tonight, it's all about my best friend. Aww. <laughs> Thanks, girl. <laughs> oh my god, so listen to this. Miss Cal has been running tests to the ground in rehearsal. <laughs> oh my god, really? Yeah, she almost made her cry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she gets. Though. I know. For Michelle, though, she got the flu yesterday. What? The singer? But she's supposed to sing all holy night. Who's gonna sing it now? Um. Anyway, so our next performance. Yes, I better go. Okay, I'll see you later. Before I get my jiggy on. So, please join me in welcoming. Welcoming. Anyway, sorry. Sorry. Anyway, please join me in welcoming our next performer, Miss Keisha Taylor, singing Oh Holy Night, or just another night for me.
to go. I will call you and I will keep you updated. Yes, I will make you proud. Okay. Okay, love you, bye. Down for some boba. I think they're still open. I love boba. Me too. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, um, I'll catch you up in your car though, because I have to make a quick call. Okay. Okay. I'll be right there. Hey, um, I know you may be kind of mad right now, but um, I have to talk to you. We actually have to talk about a lot of things. So, if you can call me back. Okay. Bye. Settle down, they tell me You've got nothing but time So tell me why Never mind, never mind Those dreams you have They'll still be there in a few years Time will fly I know, I know that it's hard to see But I know that in time You'll be proud of me Take time, take your time to understand I'll be here 